have y'all all been on birth control? Yeah. 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 Is is the hormonal changes that bad? Yeah. That oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's For just real. Crazy. I feel like yeah. my and I have a feeling in the next 10-15 years there's going to be a lot of studies coming out oh, where yeah. it it like cuz I know my parents and my doctors pushed it on me at 15 years old mm-hmm. and I was on it from 15 till I was 25 mm-hmm. and I was like this is not healthy. Yeah. To yeah. block something right. that is naturally produced. 15 is actually bodies. crazy, Jordan. Yeah, I know. You you got on your 15. So I had, hold on, let me So did, I had this argument 15? with one with one of my homeboys. We the argument was that he, the most of the women that he grew up with, their okay. mothers made them get on birth control. Mm-hmm. Did your parent make you get on birth control? Because I said I didn't know women whose parents made them get on birth control, but he said he knew. And so our experiment, we literally called women that we knew, and most of the women that he called said, Yeah, my mama made me get on birth control when I was 14, 15, 16. And I was calling women, it's like, no, nah, my mama never made me get on birth control, but also we have two totally different backgrounds like i grew up in a two-parent household and i was around in the church stuff like that and he was more in the hood and you know most of the people was raised by their only only their mother so it was like the mother didn't have time to really talk to them and teach them about sex and stuff like that so it's like you know i don't want you to bring a baby in the house so get on birth control that type of stuff so did your parent make you get on birth control or oh yeah i love my mom how was that how was that conversation I really don't remember a whole lot because like, I was 15. That was 11 years ago. Yeah. But like from what I remember is I was in high school. I was a freshman or maybe a sophomore. And I came home one day from like a little Wednesday church activity with my friends. And my mom like cornered me and was like, are you having sex? And I was like, huh? And she's like, are you pregnant? And I was like, what are you talking about? And some, she said, I got a phone call from a concerned parent saying that you're pregnant. I was like, no. I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And then literally like that following week, we were at the OBGYN and she was like, you're getting on birth control. Damn. Hmm. That's crazy. I mean, she cared uh, about you enough to get you on birth control because yeah. she was scared for you. Is like, that, is that actually caring or, yeah. or, or is she, or she didn't want to raise her baby? No, I, I think she was genuinely, as a mother, I feel like she was probably just scared. So, Jordan, do you feel like she cared for you in that situation? Or do you think that was a situ- uh, situation where you should have had had some say-so if you got on it or not? I feel like it should have been my choice. Mm-hmm. And which, at the end of the day, it still probably was. But I was 15 years old, and I didn't know better. Yeah, so you um, didn't go with mama. Like, so, with yeah. my future children, I'm going to be very upfront and honest with them about sex. Mm-hmm. From like, Because, honestly, kids are having sex nowadays younger and younger. Mm-hmm. Like, I know people who started having sex at 11 years old, 12 years old. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you don't know any better. You don't know things. And so you got to educate. And that's the problem with everyone having babies so young nowadays is they just not educated. Mm-hmm. Like, because I worked in labor and delivery for a while. And, I mean, I, I delivered 14-year-olds, like 15-year-olds. And, like, their bodies are not ready for that. Yeah. But that's they crazy. weren't educated. Mm-hmm. And so, like. If I would have been properly educated by someone before it was just sprung on me, maybe I could have been like, hey, I don't want to do this. Now, do I feel like there would have been repercussions for me saying no? Yes. Which, like what? Attitude. Mm-hmm. Just attitude. And and my mom always has always meant well, and I know she'll be to see this. And she means well, and she does it out of love, but I know there would have been an attitude about it. Um, I'm thankful you know, that I never, because I had friends that got pregnant in high school mm-hmm. when we were 16 years old. And they've had children. They've had beautiful children. And they did fine. But I'm very thankful that was never me. Mm-hmm. But I also was educated after the fact because I educated myself mm-hmm. on safe sex. And so, you know, but do I fear now that I'm 26 that that will have affected uh, my fertility now and later in life? I'm very concerned about it. Because uh, people are coming out now. They've been on birth control for years. They're having fertility issues. Mm. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I want to thank your mama because that, that birth control gave you that egg, goddamn. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah. That, that's oh, how, my God. <laughs> that's her genes. We was having, we, she got some business. <laughs> and that birth control mom- put that egg back down. <laughs> hey, appreciate that, mama. <laughs> Appreciate that, my name. Appreciate that, mama. So, anybody else, mama, made to put weed on birth control? Your mama didn't. No, she asked. She was like, when I went to the military, when I was about to graduate, she was like, okay, well, I guess we can put you on birth control, but that don't mean you need to be out here with your legs open. But it was, I was raised by my grandma, so 
all the people I knew. Okay, mm-hmm. what I thought birth control is because my grandma sheltered me. So she's old school. She's 83 now. So do the math. I graduated in 2011. So in my head, birth control me, oh, I'm going to get titties. I'm going to get ass. I don't have to have all these periods. Because at the time when birth control was really throwing me, like booming, they had period, like, um, like every three months. That was, yeah, yeah, every three months. And I was like, oh, this is great. My parents didn't tell me this. I don't like this shit anyway. I want to feel like I used to feel. Mm-hmm. So I when I thought of birth control, I was like, I'm kind of like all these, these white girls at my school. They all got big titties. <laughs> I want big titties. Everyone has big titties. But now I'm, just, I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> I hate I, I hate birth control. Like I, I would never how does it what like what is the difference in like feels? Like oh. you see, I say emotion because my wife from birth control, she complains about it all the time. And so we've been in conversation about a vasectomy, right? She get yeah. the thing taken to her arm next February. And I was like, okay, we could probably do something like that. So, but she complains about like her emotions or hormones, like the up and downs of it. Like, so how do y'all feel about it? Depo made me fat and it took my hair out and the, the red flow was there for two months. Mm-hmm. Two months? Two months. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's terrible. The- yeah. I feel, birth- actually feel bad for you. Birth control, <laughs> birth control will make your period last a very long terrible. time. That's terrible. Mine, I think, lasts about three, four months. Yeah. And then it stops and it never comes back. Three, yeah. four months? Yeah. And then it'll that's, never that's come back. And it makes mm-hmm. your bones I I've I never feel, had yeah, that I happen actually feel before. The first three, four days, I don't give a fuck because I ain't trying to hear that shit, but God damn, three, four, yeah, you. Yeah, three, four, four months like, is actually crazy. Do we need to go to the doctor? What, I mean, and so on? I we yeah. had to be creative. That's how I learned how to do it. Towels. Towels yeah. and no, shit. Because, I mean, I was getting annoyed. Like, uh, I, it, and then it's not no, like, it's heavy oh all the God. time. It'll be like a spot, a spot, a spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's no, no, the White House. It's, it's not, no, like, when, you, when we say we're bleeding for, like, two months, it don't be heavy all the time. It could be like, I chew. It'll be on it could be, yeah. it could be, I chew, and it'd be a it's spot. Like, it, man. Yeah. It, man. Yeah. That's being a woman. It's being a woman. Like, it sucks sometimes. That's why I said y'all really can't wait, because y'all don't know what it, yeah, it I don't feels know. like. Yeah, about what we going through. Damn. Four fucking that's seconds. Crazy that it took you four fucking seconds to pick it up again. Be like that. It's the way that that's really how it, it, it that is. How it, it be. sucks being a woman. Alice, you asked for this. The dog. turd band. <laughs> Oh, cause that's I crazy. researched. You know, later, a moment. The turd tickler. <laughs> I'm not a turd tickler. Why is that funny? <laughs> I mean, shit. A girl's gotta do. It's a turd tickler. Girl's gotta do. It ain't our fault. We have a period. I mean, we right? were. Me and him were like arguing. We like that we, we knew what saying, our though, beef like, was. <laughs> we could not touch oh. each other, so I was like, "Well, let's just right do this cool. shit." You got. Ravioli coming up out that thing. No, it's not. It don't mean it's not heavy. Ravioli. It could be like and you want me to push the turn part. it back in there. No, okay. <laughs> now we don't need no. No, 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 no. It could be as small as the smallest tip. amount. Yeah. It could be the smallest amount, but I don't want be no scared ragu. if you use it. Exactly. No. So we had to come up with some because I was tired of beefing with him. You he, so do this. So bro, he, we got tired. Bro, of that. You something. ain't shit. So he was adamant about. I've been calling y'all not shit. No, we were both. We were. We were both. I, I know I needed it. He know he needed it, and we looked at each other. He's and I was like, well, "Come on, let's." <laughs> It's it's yeah, not no, boxing turd. Please, somebody call Donald Trump. No, because you you have ways to prep uh, in this.